easy to do. As soon as you turn on the computer, you want to hold down the F11 button. Not tap it, but hold it down. And uh, of course, F11 on most computers on the keyboard, it's on the center right side. On this particular one, it's right above the uh, right above the minus sign. So let's go ahead and turn it on, and immediately it should start saying like automatic repair or please wait on the very bottom. All right, I'm holding F11 down, and there we go, preparing automatic repair. So that's good news. If for whatever reason it does not work, um, and it get and it'll stall and get hung up. Um, that could be an indicator that your hard drive is bad and um, in that case you'll need to get a new hard drive you can get them anywhere from 20 bucks to 100 bucks depending on the size and where you get it at and then you'll have to manually reinstall Windows 8 you'll have to get a disk I'd recommend maybe contact an HP and, and uh, they'll probably send you a disk uh, I don't know if they come with the computers anymore I know they stopped doing it and a lot of computers putting the disk in there to prevent pirating and all that. What they'll usually do is put the operate system on the hard drive itself on a partition. Alright, so it's saying right here automatic repair. Your PC did not start correctly. You restart to reset your PC. So what we're going to do is go to advanced options. And it says choose an option. Continue, use the device, troubleshoot, or turn off your PC. Um, what we're going to do is go troubleshoot, refresh, or reset your PC. We're going to reset it. So let's go to troubleshoot. Now, it's given us some options. Refresh your PC. Um, and of course you can do that to, to try to make it go faster. Reset your PC. If you want to remove all your files, you can reset the PC completely. That's what we're talking about. Recovery manager. Um, of course, at an advanced shop. So we'll, we're going to choose reset your PC. Okay, reset your PC. Here's what will happen all your personal files and apps will be removed, and your PC settings will be changed back to their defaults. So we're going to choose next. Now, there's two things it will do. You could choose one just to remove your files and use this if you're just keeping your PC for yourself. This is the more advanced option. Literally, it will take like two hours to do. Just removing your files will only take about 20 minutes to 30 minutes. The fully, to fully clean your drive, it says use this if you'll, if you'll recycle the PC. This can take several hours. What it basically means is I mean, literally, it shreds the information, and uh, and and literally, there's nothing on that. So you would do that if you want to prevent someone trying to ghost your hard drive and and get your personal stuff out. Um, I'm not sure if it puts the operating system back on it or not. Um, it, I'm pretty sure that it does, but um, what we're going to do is we're going to just remove my files. This is all ready to go. This will remove your personal files and apps from your PC and restore all settings to their defaults. And then what we do is choose reset. And there it goes. And what it'll do, it'll show a show percentage. Right now we're starting at 1% and of course it'll go all the way up to 100. Um, so I hope this video helped and thanks for watching.